What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight. All right, coming back to Sleep Token. Yes, indeed. Sleep Token fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Charles B, and this is actually one of Charles B's three prioritized requests for the month of October for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Charles. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Charles want to see me react to this? It is Sleep Token with a tune that I just did a reaction to not too long ago uh, called Like That, but this one is a little different version. This is Like That, an offering from two. Here we go again. Now, have I heard the song before? Okay, well, full disclosure, yes, yes I have. Uh, I just did a reaction to Like That just a couple of days ago, so yeah, I've, I've, I've heard the song. Now, this is a different version, an offering from two. Now, if it follows the same format as the last offering from two I did, it's just an instrumental version of the song. Now, by removing the vocals, is that gonna really make a big difference on the song? Well, it sort of, it kind of did with the last one. So we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna see how this goes. Um, you know, I. At the end of the day, if it makes absolutely no difference, I mean, I, I don't know if I'll be able to give it a score or not. I mean, we'll see. The last one, the vocals missing, did make a difference. We'll see how this one goes. It cuts work! As always, Charles has provided an intro for me to read to all of you, so here we go. Since the last time you, rea you reacted to Sleep Token, it was with Like That. It's only natural to next check out Two's personal offering of the track, akin to his work on Alkaline. As I mentioned earlier this month, a year after the release of their second album, This Place Will Become Your Tomb, Two released three offerings of selected tracks from it, with Like That being his second pick. Just like in the video of Two's offering of Alkaline, you will not be hearing Vessel's vocals in this. Now, if you recall, I mentioned that Two uh, considers like that and higher from sound downing among his favorites to perform live and indeed like that is one of his top five songs that sleep token has played the most times at their concerts but two's connection to like that runs deeper than that in his only interview to date featured on dremio in december 2023 two said these exact words arguably the drum parts in that song are to this day my favorite that i've written now you will know why Two selected like that as one of his three offerings from This Place Will Become Your Tomb. So, so basically, Two said in this interview, uh, the drum parts in this song are his favorite that he's written. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see about that. Let's see, this was posted by Sleep Token, surprise, surprise, and the video has 570,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Sleep token, like that, an offering from two. Got it. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this.
Not sure why he would say this is his favorite, other than from a challenging standpoint of subdividing. That's really the only thing I can think of, honestly. Uh, huh. Okay, well, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm just really curious. I mean, I understand the interview that Two said that this was his favorite. You know, when it comes to the songwriting aspect, this was his favorite. But the only thing I can think of is from a purely from a subdivisional standpoint, from the counting. Uh, th th that's really the only thing I could see as to why. Interesting. Anyway, um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Sleep Token with Like That, an offering from two. This was a request from Charles B. And this was actually one of Charles B.'s three prioritized requests for the month of October for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Charles. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um... This turned out to be a little bit of a weird one. Um, I have a score, and I have, I, I, I believe me folks, I have a very good reason for giving it the score that I'm, I'm gonna give it. Um, I have my reason. It, it really comes down to just one reason. Um, shouldn't take long to explain, it really shouldn't. Uh, we're gonna talk about this a little bit, but there's really not too much to talk about. Let's start off with that score first. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.6. Yep, 7.6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. First things first, 7.6. What does that mean? Well, 7.6 would translate to a really good scale rating, so I think overall this was a really good presentation. It would get four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. So there you go, 7.6, really good scale rating, four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> um, well, so glad you asked. Um, I know that 7.6 probably sounds familiar and there's a very good reason for that. It's the exact same score that I gave to the other version I did. Um, instrumentally instrumentally looking at both songs they're the exact same the exact same playing the exact same songwriting the exact same everything so why would i change the score <laughs> especially uh, uh here's the thing i know i probably changed the score for the other uh comparison that i did for alkaline i don't i, I never went back i never looked to see if the, the score was the same or not um but with those two, there was really there. There, I personally believed, and I felt there was a difference between the two. The 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 taking out of the vocals, the subtraction of the vocals, I felt did change the song. I I felt it did. I felt like I I personally enjoyed it more. I I feel like it was more interesting to listen to. This one, taking the vocals out, honestly, really didn't make all that much of a difference i i was i was actually contemplating and thinking well maybe actually i would if i'm being honest the exact opposite happened i didn't like this one as much personally without the vocals i think i think on this particular song the vocals missing was noticed and not in a good way the song did sound a little hollow now, as far as the songwriting goes, the composition and the execution, they were the exact same. It's the exact same track. It's just an instrumental version. Um, so I don't really see a need to give it a different score, especially considering the fact that between the two, really didn't really no notice all that much of a difference, honestly. Yeah, the, 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 it did feel a little hollow without the vocals, but it, I don't feel it was that much of a difference to really warrant any difference in the score. It was very, very slight. By the time we got to the halfway point and everything started to fill and it was like, ah, the vocals are either here nor there now. It, they're, they're just a complete and different thing at this point for me. Um, as far as watching him play, it was interesting to see how much he relied 
on the electronic drum pad for about the first half of the song. He didn't even touch uh, any of the acoustic drums. He didn't touch any of the analog drums at all. It was all on the drum pad, uh, which I found to be interesting. Um, he did utilize the hi-hat in a closed position, just very slightly open. I, I think he was thinking, I think he has his hi-hat set. So it was just ever so slightly open. So that when he would push down on the hi-hat, it would close, but the, it's not like going from here to here. It was like going from here to here. It's very, very slight. Um, I did notice that. I actually watched this hi-hat and you could see it jiggle. So it was being utilized. As far as what he said uh, in his interview, arguably the drum parts in that song are to this day my favorite that I've written. I could see that from a purely, purely counting and subdivision standpoint where his attacks were placed in comparison to other attacks within the, within the same measure. His subdividing was interesting and playing that live, you better be counting. <laughs> I know people sometimes criticize me for you know counting as much as I do and putting as much emphasis on counting as I do. Folks, if you're not counting with a song like this, you're gonna mess up, and you're gonna mess up badly. He's probably counting, let's see, if it, we're playing about here. He's, he's counting 30 second notes. He's gotta be counting 30 second notes in his head and subdividing on, based, making his subdivision attacks, his, his attack placements based on 30 second notes. So, that's that's intense. That is absolutely intense. Um, and to some extent, to some extent, I would even say impressive as cleanly as he did it. But it was it. But honestly, it was no different than from what I heard in the first take. So um, I, I can't really adjust anything for that. I mean, it's it was nice to see him do it. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Um, and taking the vocals out, like I said, it did change the song. It needs to change the, how I felt about the song, just very, very slightly on a personal level. But looking at this objectively, there's really no difference. That not even not there's there's not even really no difference. There is no difference other than the fact that there's no vocals. So, yeah, 7.6. I I do feel good about that score. Now, like I said, on a personal level, the vocals they were missed slightly, very slightly, until like during the first half. In the second half, didn't notice they were missing at all. Honestly, didn't care. Uh, it, it sounded just fine without the vocals in the second half because everything got filled out. But in the first half, yeah, it was a little thin. So, but anyway, 7.6, I feel good about that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We have a 7.6, which is a really good skill rating, four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care. Whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make a difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.